As a runner and footwear designer, I think a lot about running shoes. I just ran my own virtual Boston Marathon on Sunday. I want to talk a little bit about these Alpha Flies, which I used. So a lot has been said, of course, about the carbon fiber plate, about the stack height, about the cushioning. But what I want to talk about is the upper today. So the upper, in my opinion, is one of the most important things. The upper is responsible, I think, for fit, for performance, and about what makes a shoe really good or not so good. So if you're not familiar, there is, I would say, three main things that are part of a shoe. Now that's the upper, and that's the midsole, and that's often what people, like I say, are talking about with the Alpha Fly, with the uh, carbon fiber, with the zoom, air, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also the outsole. So with these being the three main components, we're gonna talk a little bit today about the upper. The Alpha Fly is interesting because it's a step back, you could say, from the previous generation. The Alpha Fly compared to the next percent, compared to the second generation, the Flyknit 4%, is actually, I would say, more has more in common with this than this. The upper, as you know, is uh, Adam Knit, so it's a knit material compared to the model mesh upper material of the second generation, or sorry, third generation, um, and is a sock fit, so it's much, much more like this. And that's honestly why I love it. But there's some things I find that are actually really not so good here. So let's take a step back and talk a little bit about the overall shape and fit and what makes a great fit or a great shoe. So inside every shoe, when they design it and when they construct it, it is a last, it's something like this. And the key points in terms of what makes a last really good or a fit is I would say four different things. So if we look at the shape of a last, we have the bottom and we have the top. And there's a few kind of key measure measurements. Those are the ball girth and that's the shape around here, that's this front area, front volume, if you will. Then there's the instep, and that's the arch area, and around the top of the shoe here. And then there's the heel ball. That's here. Now, with the Alpha Fly, I think it's a combination of things in my perspective that make this one kind of a little bit weird. So the upper material, as I mentioned, is a knit material compared to the previous generation. Um, and they've done some really kind of good and kind of weird things with the construction. So you can see there is some reinforcement material underneath the knit, both in the toe box and along the eye stay here. And then obviously around the heel, here and the collar padding inside here. The effect that this has is both good and bad. So compared to the old one and compared to uh, even the generation before that, I find the front volume over here actually a lot larger. So less issues with getting black toenails with the front of this kind of pressing down. You can see even just kind of compared here, there is a lot more space inside for your feet. Um, and that's good, especially, you know, in hot conditions. When I ran my uh, marathon on Sunday, it was rainy, it was humid, it was 100% humidity, it was 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, your feet expand, they swell, and getting a very tight area in the toe box will give you blisters and will give you those black toenails the next day. Um, and these fly knit 4% or even uh, my training shoes, the Zoom Fly fly knits, they definitely have those issues. So that's a really good positive. However, the midfoot I find is a little bit more kind of concerning. So in the Alpha Fly, they've actually gone back to this sock fit and this kind of combination knit material. So you can see this very little knit stretch in the toe box area over here on the side. But of course, to be able to allow you to get the foot in across the vamp here uh, and across the tongue, there is some stretch, which for me is, is great. My favorite shoe is these uh, Zoom Flies and this entire shoe is pretty stretchy. 
I've even uh, done 20, 30 kilometer training runs in these with no laces, uh, and they are fantastic. Um, compared to the next percents where this entire shoe is pretty much has no give, the tongue is two piece. Um, so it's completely separate from the upper here, stitched down at the bottom here, and there is no comfort or no stretch at all. So as your feet expand or as conditions change, all you're relying on is laces. And that brings me though to the worst part I would say about these shoes. So that is the instep. So I talked a little bit about the volume over here and that is the uh, overall circumference around the instep area here. Um, and in the next percents, um, compared to the Alpha Flies, I don't know if they have a different last, so I don't know if the actual volume is different, but the overall fit is different, both because of the material and the construction. So as mentioned, the upper material here has no stretch, the tongue has stretch, but the key part, I would say, is with the construction and the geometry of the midsole. So you can see here, if you're looking at the overall upper, um, you have an upper like this, and then you have your midsole kind of attaching to this. Um, where they interface, there's obviously an area right here that connects to here. And this is a hard part connecting to a soft part. You have an upper material that's knit, and you have a relatively harder or more stiff kind of foam material here. Um, and where those two materials join, this is where you're gonna feel it. So in my experience, I did a couple training runs in these before my marathon. Um, this is where I had a problem. This shoe in general, especially compared to any of these flyknit ones, has very little give. In addition, this instep area across here um, is very, very narrow. So you can look at uh, a typical shoe here, you'll have, you'll see lots of uh, width compared to the inner side of the last. You'll have lots of support, both on the lateral side and the medial side. The Alpha Fly, you can see just from the very bottom here, is very, very wide in the forefoot, uh, pretty wide in the heel, but across the waist area is very, very narrow. So what that does is gives you a lot of overhang on the waist. And for me, I actually got pretty bad blisters. I had to use some um, tape in my marathon. Uh, I've tried uh, body glide, stuff like that. But no matter what, you're kind of basically stuck with an issue of hard parts and soft parts and your foot being a 3D volume in between, uh, kind of dealing with the, the contact point of those two. So that's about it for now. I just want to talk a little bit, uh, say briefly about the upper. I've got a few more thoughts definitely on the rest of the construction, uh, the rest of the design aspects of the shoe. Um, but the Alpha Fly, I would say for me is, I would say not, uh, not totally a win. Uh, if I had to choose, I would choose still the 4% uh, as my go-to every day. But um, either way, got through it. And um, any marathon that you finish is a good marathon, right? Cheers.